What's up guys, it's your boy John, and we're back again here with another video. We have an Android head unit for the Honda Accord 2015 to 2013. So 2013 to 2015, now right off the bat, you already know this site that always has one of the best packaging I've seen in at least the Android head unit game. Even from Pioneer, the packaging and the, the side of head units are always better. So check out the box right here. It says the side up in the front. Has all these cool colors, a little glossy box. It just looks proper. And on top, it says Honda Accord 2013 and 2015 with 4.3 screens, 5.1 sub. So let's give it a little unboxing. Ooh, breathing in. Now, first, you're greeted with a nice, very well packaged Ziploc bag that says Android Series Smart. Smart Android series user manual, and it says product qualification certificate. So you get a really cool certificate card here, and then it's telling you to, hey, if you like the product or if you don't like it, give us feedback, and you know, that'd be much appreciated. Now checking it out from here, you got the good foam, multiple multiple layers, looks like three to four layers of good foam, and we have the harness sitting right on top. There you go. Additional harnesses right here. Ooh, and it comes with a CAN bus unit right there. So let's take a look at these wires before we get into the meat and potatoes. Now, these are usually your accessories when it comes to the harnesses. And this is usually your main power drive when it comes to your speakers and power the head on itself. Boom, we first have our aux accessories your sub accessories when your RCA jack outs to. So you got rear, right, rear, left, front, left, sub one, all that power. USBs, now we have two USBs here. Now these are pretty thick gauge cables, so that's how you know you get some good qualities, get that lower resistance going on. And then your second, US, your, your second USB cable or harness, but that gives you a total of three USBs right here. Microphone, so you'll be able to put this closer to you, whether you put it on your steering wheel or on top of your dash or something like that. Microphone right there. We have a Wi-Fi antenna here, and then you have your GPS antenna there. So you'll be able to, if your car doesn't have wireless uh, internet anywhere, you'll still be able to have GPS antenna. Uh, you still have a GPS antenna to be able to have GPS signal. A lot of questions when it comes to this. Think of it like TomTom Tom or Garmin. You don't need Wi-Fi or internet connection for those. It's based off of this antenna to control the satellites. Now we have the TFT driver. Now when I see one of these boxes in here, that means quality that the head unit is gonna be able to do more than just play music. Newer cars, when your doors are open, sometimes your head unit says, hey, your door is open. Or it, tra it tracks your MPG, or there's some settings within the head unit itself, like your OEM head unit controls, like when you hit unlock, does it unlock all doors and stuff like that. These CAN buses gives you communication to that head unit, so the head unit should be able to um, display more information like MPG, mileage, or you know just, just system configurations, which is awesome. Boom. We also have a USB adapter, so you'll be able to retain your OEM center console or glove box or wherever you have your OEM USB. You'll be able to plug it into this bad boy right here. Like something like this. And this will go into the USB in under, like basically inside your head unit. So you'll be able to keep your USB awesome. And we have the big boy right here. This is the Honda harness. Back when I had my S2000, I'm like, man, this harness is massive and intimidating. All the wiring is done for you here. It's great. And it looks like we have camera one, camera two. Um, usually there is some redundancy when it comes to wiring, so it accommodates multiple model years. Um, I know for the Subaru WRX, 2015 wiring to 2016 to 2017 to 2018, they are a little bit different. So that's why aftermarket radio manufacturers like to have some redundancy in their cables to accommodate multiple model years even though it looks exactly the same 
sometimes the guts are a little bit different, but they got you covered here. It's always great to see also a radio antenna. Man, this is like 10 bucks, 12 bucks. You know, things start adding up when you buy a app. Like if you buy a Kenwood, you would have to buy this separately, which is 10 to 15 bucks. You have to buy the harness wiring, which is like 20 to 30 bucks. Sometimes steering wheel controls are like 70 to 100 bucks. All of that stuff is here for you. All right, so we have all the wiring done. Look, let's look at the meat and potatoes. Look at this, it's a massive head unit. So oh, there's some more ad additional wiring right here with more CAN bus. It be just like I talked about earlier, they have a lot of redundancy. So um, hope your, your wiring should be good here. Oh man, this thing is like pulling out the Excalibur. Boom. So here it is here. And look at this, how it's like molded. The foam is molded to the head unit. So when it's getting transported, you're good to go. Cause look, like, there's a lot of fragile points right here. So having it like the way they mold it, it's just amazing. It's good packaging. Oh, geez, this thing's massive. So I've never seen this before, but this one has probably something to do with the OEM kind of Honda thing. They give you two trim pieces. So once we do the install, we can figure out why they include that. That's probably gonna help with the install. This thing's massive. Oh my God, look how big this thing is so big. Oh baby, it's a massive screen. Now we have the vents right here. I don't want to pull this off because when we're doing the install, I want to make sure it's still on. That way um, it doesn't get scratched or anything, but the quality of the piece is a lot higher than I've seen on the other pieces. I mean, you can see that the silver is nice and colored. You got the, that kind of ABS plastic. That's a little bit soft touch, not super soft touch, but it's a softer plastic. And you have just even in the back where you can't see it's just molded really nicely and then you have multiple screws right there so check that out now we also have a connection right here i don't know what that is it could be air air bag lights or whatever we're gonna have to figure that out when we do the install but of course these are going to be for your your vents wow that is nice now it does have a lot of weight to it because not all Android head units are the same. Different manufacturers have different components, whether it's CPU processor or system on chip. The, the system on chip is always different, not always different, but it's different from different models. What's main, the main important thing is also the motherboard and how it deals with noise and all the capacitors, the DSPs, the inter integrated Apple, uh, Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. So there's that. Now looking at the back of the unit, it is pretty heavy. So let me try to stay with me. We have the wiring diagram right here. We have the authentication that it's a decider product. It's not like a, like a clone or rip off or, you know, knock off. You have an HDMI out for audio or whatever. And then you have a microphone jack. All these accessories that we talked about here, like the USBs are gonna go right there. The main power cord for this bad boy is gonna go right here. Our Wi-Fi antenna, our GPS antenna. And with the SIDA, we also have a expandable micro SD card. This one is included. So if you guys can see, there's a little micro SD card right here, which is a typical case of a higher end unit. Uh, the lower end head units are going to have this expandable storage with a additional micro SD. Let's see how much gigs it's inside of this bad boy. 16 gigs. Ugh. A little bit hard to reach with all these clips. But there you go. But yeah, this is the Honda Accord head unit. Pretty excited about this one. You know that I'm always um, excited when it comes to custom fitment Android head units the Honda Accords are gonna really make it like a basically a 2020 Honda Accord with the latest features like wireless Apple CarPlay, wired Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto. Now, if you guys were planning to get this, 
Don't forget to check the links down below to see if you guys want to get something like this. You can look up, this is on Amazon and also AliExpress. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna provide both links. And stay tuned for the Android head unit install. I mean, if you guys are watching this video, most likely the head unit video install is already out. So you guys can check that out when it gets becomes available. And yeah, I'm really happy about this. Don't forget to smash that like button. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.